<laughs> what is it like to be a scientist? Uh, it depends on the day of the week, I, I, I suppose. The joke I hear most often in the halls over at NASA Goddard is, how do you know when you're talking to a scientist who is an extrovert? And the answer is, he will look at his own shoes instead of, and I totally messed that up. <laughs> Let me try that again. <laughs> how do you tell the extroverted uh, Goddard scientists from the introvert? They stare in your shoes instead of their own shoes when they talk to you. Bada bing. <laughs> One word, fun. You can research what you want to do, uh, solve problems that, that you like. So in, it's, it has a lot of flexibility, making it a really fun place to, to work uh, as a scientist. Sometimes it's challenging, sometimes it's nice, sometimes it's um, exasperating. <laughs> You always have to keep uh, prepared for um, something unexpected uh, and so you also need to know how to then get around and make that work. My parents think that I work in meteorology. My dad has written down my explanation of what I do so when people ask he can explain it to other people. <laughs> What I do now at NASA is related to meteorology, but it's not forecasting the weather, per se. Sometimes the people don't understand the work that we are doing in terms of building instruments, space instruments, launching them onto, into orbit, collecting the data from uh, 500 miles away from Earth, and showing what happens on our surface. Basically, it's something that is magical for many people, including my parents. <laughs> It's a real pleasure to be around people who really care about what they do and who are genuinely curious about the world. And I think that's the most exciting part about science is that we get to explore new things, we're always looking at new ideas, and it's really fun to get to associate with lots of different people who are doing that. I work on a project, uh, it's called MODIS. It's uh, a satellite that's orbiting the Earth. I'm working on a program called JPSS. Uh, the Joint Polar Satellite System. I'm working on uh, VIRS, which is on board of the NPP satellite. I work on the MODIS calibration. We are working for the HBSS uh, project to support the instrument calibration and characterization. Specifically, I work with the uh, group that uh, has developed a software called MODAPS, and it's a data processing system for the data that comes from that satellite. Uh, to, to us at NASA Goddard and we process it and uh, create uh, products that uh, Earth science, scientists can use for uh, research in areas such as climate change. What we do in our group is we are in between the actual instrument and the images. So we take the raw data out of the images and apply all the corrections and adjustments uh, to make the images look good and to convert them into scientific uh, quantities that are then used by scientists all over the world. My typical day uh, includes looking over uh, a small set of instruments around the world to make sure that they're running properly so we have the best quality data for the network. Sigma's uh, philosophy is to build uh, high-performance teams. Um, our scientists and the engineers are working together, collaborating together, basically joining forces. So coming here day in, day out, uh, I, I, you know, I got requests from uh, science community and seeing problems here and there, and we were able to get together, have a meeting, and um, develop a strategy how to resolve this. And that's how these two teams have been successful. The, the program we are working on is, is going to be used uh, in so many cases, in so, by so many agencies, uh, that definitely is going to affect anybody in this nation and also worldwide. We are going to have products coming from JPSS instruments that, for instance, track the disasters such as storms, such as oil leaks. One of the programs I've worked with is the Landsat satellite. Landsat is very good. Uh, for looking at how people are managing land. It's at just the right scale to see the human fingerprint on the land surface. And so we're able to see things like how well crops are growing, 
or how many trees have been cut down. And those sorts of things are things that help us manage our landscape, help us survive as a species in order, you know, growing food and managing our natural resources. So can my work change people's lives? You know, I, I'd like I'd like to, th to think so, particularly with the state of the world today, with uh, an improved understanding of how these ecosystems uh, are changing, we can bring information to decision makers uh, and to society where hopefully people will make better decisions uh, about uh, the sustainability of um, our civilization and, and life on Earth. We need to understand how it is happening and why it is happening. And that's the main purpose of satellite remote sensing project, where we observe, we collect measurement using the satellites um, over the entire globe, and then derive parameters that can help us understand this interaction between the land, atmosphere, and the ocean. So I think in that way, we are really making a significant contribution to the mankind to uh, understand the, our Earth better and what we can do to um, uh, say, um, you know, extend the life of this Earth and make it a better place for everyone to live. What's the in integral of one over cabin with respect to cabin? And the answer to that is houseboat. Um, the explanation for it is that uh, the integral of 1 over x with respect to x is log of x. Therefore, the integral of 1 over cabin re with respect to cabin is log cabin. But there's always also a constant when you take an integral, so it's log cabin plus c. Uh, so if you have a log cabin in the sea, you have a houseboat.